Hello guys, this is Sonam. Today in this Power Automate video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add an attachment to the planner uh, task from a SharePoint. So that means when an item is created and uh, the item has an attachment, then we will create and this will create a uh, task within the planner and uh, also it will get that attachment from the point list and it will attach that attachment within the planner task so the whole process will uh, work on uh, whole process will take place by the power automate and uh, here i am showing you a uh, the preview of the automated cloud flow that i have just created where it is showing the flow will trigger when an item is created once it will once the item is created the it will get that attachments and then it will create a task within the power planner and uh, after that it will check whether the attachment uh, whether the item has attachment or not if it is the attachment then it will update the task with that attachment so let's see from the beginning how to create this flow and how to work within our daily lives so in the browser i'm going to open login with my user id with the office 365 office.com and you can enter and it will ask ask me to sign in so click here sign in and here i'm going to insert my user id and click on next and the password and the sign in and now my user id is logged in uh, okay so let's go to that app launcher so we are going to create a flow based on SharePoint list and the power auto using power automate and we will create a task within the planner task so we need to open three applications that is SharePoint so click ellipses and open a new tab and then the power automate click on open a new tab and after that the planner so uh, in the SharePoint I have created a list where uh, the my list name is task so where whenever the user will insert or, or whenever i'll just insert it in task uh, title start date due date attachments and report to the it's a people picker column then it will uh, search whether the flow will uh, search whether the list has the, whether the item has an attachment or not then it will create a task within the planner you, uh, and also attach this attachment there so let's see uh, the automated the automation process by creating the automated flow so in the power automate uh, click here the create and here you can find all the type varieties of the flow that we can create it in the power automate uh, so let's create the automated cloud flow click on here and give a flow name Suppose I'm giving a flow name like uh, create task using attachment from SharePoint. Okay. So next here we will create when an item uh, is trigger is created that and click on create. That means when an item is created uh, in the SharePoint list, the trigger will call. The trigger will call and here we will give our site address so, that means this is my site address and giving the cell list name uh, here is the list name is tasks so search it here tasks this one tasks so okay close it once the item is created it will search whether it will get that attachment for that only we will so this uh, search get attachment so within the SharePoint connectors we will search uh, the gate attachment yeah this one the gate attachments select this action and it will get that attachment from that uh, created item for that uh, here we will uh, configure the action with the site address and the list name list name uh, is keep it similar tasks and the id from here you can select that id when an I from the when an item is created, so select this. Once it will get that attachment, it will create the um, tasks for that only. Create task within the planner. We can find yeah, create task. So select this 
action and here we will give the group id plan id and title so here i just created a planner in my planner so this is or you can create a new plan here from here also but as i have already created so i am using this one so this is daily task so within the daily task plan the task will be created for that only so select the group task so so here we can see uh, i just created a group id uh, my within the group team 1 using the team 1 i have created the plan uh, that is daily task so here the group id is team 1 once i insert the team 1 here we will to the plan id that is daily task and also here we will give the title title from the dynamic content so i am going to give it the dynamic when an item is created okay so that when an item is created whatever the task title then it will be created based on the task title within the planner so and uh, here i am going to give a bucket id so bucket id is to do or you can create an a new bucket id also here the start date i am going to start date from the save point from here uh start date yeah this one so i am giving the start date and similarly from the uh, give select a due date from the uh dynamic content and that's it for now so here what we have created once the item is created it will create that attachment and create the task but in this action we have uh, we there is no option to get that uh, to uh, set that attachment whatever we got from here so for that only we will we will add another action that is condition Okay, so here the condition control here yeah, the condition. So as per the condition, item has an attachment, then it will update that attachment within the space within the respective task or that retrieve from the save point list item. For that only here we will search has attachment. Yeah, this one when an item is created, uh, it will has attachment is equal to e that is equal to true. So we will write it in the expression. Yeah, this one is true. Click on OK. Yeah. So if the uh, item has attachment, uh, then it will update that yeah, task. Update that created task. That uh, task has been already created, but it will update that task with the attached the attachment. For so that only update this one. Update task details. So here we will give the task ID. So, so here we will select the enter the custom value, and here from the created task action we will search for ID, yeah, the ID of the task, this one, and here we will give a little description like find the attachment to get more details, and here the reference alias we will, uh, yeah, here we will give a name. Uh, to describe the reference, that means uh, we will give a name to our special or to our documents. Suppose I am here, I am going to give a document to follow, and in the reference resources link, we will give the th this one, the absolute URI. So link to attachment. Okay. Uh, if there is more than one, that's uh, then it will apply to this. Uh, are that apply to each link? Uh, apply to each loop. Uh, uh, just because if there is more than one, then it will apply to each attachment, and that's it only. So um, and click on save. If you want, you can add and send an email attachment, send an email action to send that email to our user or your uh, reported person. But for now, we are just keep it simple. Uh, for more details, you can go through our uh, articles, and there is. Uh, so click on test and click on test it manually and test it. So to see it work now, add a new list item to the share point folder you have selected. Okay, let's see by adding an item within the share point task list. Click here new and here work done. Three suppose I'm going to create a task, create a report. Sorry, report. 
based on given data given excel data and where the start date i will create the start date as uh, 16 and the date to be in 18 and also we will put it to no, I'm giving some kind of name that is okay. So here I'm going to add an attachment. So suppose I'm giving I'm inserted a uh, Excel report here and click on save. Let's come back to our uh, flow. So let's see whether it is created successfully. Yeah, the flow ran successfully. That means the flow is get that attachment and created a task using that attachment also so yeah this one is okay let's see yeah uh, as the uh, say point item has attachment so it is uh, come as the true and it is a uh, as it is a one attachment so it is coming as one and it is updated the task okay so let's see whether it is coming yeah in the daily task within the daily task we can see the attachment here and documents to follow that we are giving the alliance name and here is the attachment count whether one attachment is there and this is showing our due date and this is also showing our uh, task title so this is how we can create a uh, uh, task within the task planner using the uh, planner using the attachments from the SharePoint list via power auto so i hope guys you like this video and you got some ideas from this video and please give do like uh, please give a like to our videos and do subscribe our youtube channel for a more video tutorial on SharePoint online power apps power automate power bi python machine learning and many more thanks for watching have a nice day